Hi, and welcome to Mods. We're keeping you connected to inspiring science with virtual camp discovery, brought to you by Citrix, the museum's official innovation partner. Get ready to travel at the speed of sound as we demonstrate how sound moves through different states of matter. Then we'll make Ooblick dance to some cool vibrations. Sounds like a plan. Hi, welcome back to Mods. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how sound moves through different mediums, through different states of matter. As you might have seen in our How Music Works video, uh, sound travels in vibrations, right? And vibrations happen in waves. Now, lower frequencies mean that there are less waves happening with bigger wavelengths, bigger lengths between the waves. And those give us lower sounds, those lower frequencies. And as the frequencies of those waves get higher, the pitch of the sound gets a lot higher too until you're talking like this. So what I'm gonna do today is kind of show a few examples of how we can visualize how that sound moves in vibrations. The first thing I'm gonna do is I have my tone generator set up and I'm gonna sprinkle some sand across this plate that's on top of this speaker. So I'm gonna set my tone generator to different frequencies and we'll see different rates of vibrations. And you might be able to hear it. It's a very soft sound coming from this since it's not really projecting the speaker. But at different frequencies, you can see the plate vibrating in different areas. And as it vibrates in different areas, let me readjust it here. As it vibrates in different areas, it pushes the sand uh, to other parts where it's not moving so much. In some places, everything's vibrating kind of chaotically. This in uh, audio engineering and music composition we call dissonance, where everything is just kind of scattered uh, and chaotic and not very pleasing, to where all my sand has fallen off this now. So I'm gonna sprinkle some more onto it and find a more harmonic frequency to maybe go to. So as we find this and I adjust the amplitude and our frequency, we'll find some sweet spots in there that give us some kind of dazzling displays of different symmetrical patterns on this. So see like this pattern, we have this kind of four-way street thing happening here where the uh, plate is vibrating over here where there's no sand and the sand is being piled up to where there's not uh, a lot of vibration happening. And this keeps happening at different frequencies. And some frequencies come through a lot more intense, so I kind of have to be adjusting the amplification of it and the frequency at the same time. But we can see this one kind of sits pretty in this little pattern. As we go up even further and further and further, once we get to very high frequencies that would be like a falsetto singing or uh, maybe the higher register of a piano or something, we see it change into this more kind of butterfly type pattern that happens. And we see it just being pushed again. And again, you can see the uh, little particles of sand just being bumped out of the way where it's vibrating a lot and being pushed into these uh, more relaxed positions where those vibrations aren't hitting as heavy. So now that we have a good idea of uh, the way that sound vibrations travel, uh, we're gonna take it a step further here. Now I've made, just made up a little batch of oobleck, which as you may remember is a non-Newtonian fluid. It is kind of a solid, kind of a liquid, but kind of neither at the same time. If I put pressure on it, it turns into a liquid and you can see it dripping down. Uh, if I don't, it is a solid and I bounce right off of it. So depending on what's happening uh, and the kind of pressure that's being put on it, it can be a solid or a liquid. Now, what makes that important to this experiment is that sound travels at different speeds through different states of matter. Uh, and the tighter the state of matter is, the faster it travels. You may have seen that like if you were ever swimming in the ocean and maybe you put your head underwater for a second and you can hear a cruise ship way out on the horizon, it's because sound travels a lot faster through water than it does through air. And it travels faster through a solid than it does through a liquid. Uh, so those lower frequencies, those big bass frequencies, come through the ground at a much uh, 
more intense rate uh, than say the more higher pitch sounds coming through something like that. So I'm gonna put some oobleck on my plate here. So at certain frequencies, especially the dissonant ones, you can see uh, those ripples and those wavelengths kind of uh, spreading out throughout the oobleck, and you can see how that distributes out. Now, and then at certain points, uh, it'll bubble up. Now that's the way that sound is traveling between the two states of matter, and how the oobleck kind of balances between those two states of matter is what's making this phenomenon happen. So these are actually kind of standing sound waves that you're looking coming up through this. So thank you for tuning in and helping me make the oobleck dance. Uh, and I hope you learned a lot about sound frequencies and how those vibrations pattern out through our world. We'll see you again next time. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Virtual Camp Discovery. Special thanks to Citrix, Mod's official innovation partner for powering this series. Please stay safe and connected with Mods by visiting our social channels at MODSFTL.